A humanitarian catastrophe is playing out in Gaza. There is shortage of food and water. The strip is out of fuel and electricity. And the healthcare system is at the verge of a collapse. Amid all of this, a little hope emerged for a few Gazans. Early this morning, media reports started pouring in that the Gaza-Egypt crossing will open for a limited time. This was only for Americans and dual nationals. But hopes for that soon ended. This is the border crossing with Egypt, and it's called the Rafa crossing. It's the southernmost post of exit from Gaza. It was said around 9 a.m. local time, the crossing was scheduled to open. Hours passed by, three oil tankers made their way into the strip, but not a single resident was allowed to leave. We spoke to one such resident. For security reasons, we are keeping him anonymous. He is born in Gaza and is father to four children. One of his daughters has an American citizenship. At the time we spoke to him, he was stuck at the border for four hours. Uh, early this morning, we received a call from the uh, American embassy asking us to uh, move closer to uh, Rafah crossing under the premise that uh, it will be open for limited time to evacuate uh, uh, people uh, holding the American citizenship along with their immediate family. Uh, uh, along with about more than 500 people, we've waited uh, for about four hours uh, with uh, no uh, at no avail in vain. Uh, apparently, the agreement, if there is one, was not implemented and people s just sit and uh, well, sit and waiting uh, with no hope. The situation is very dehumanizing. It's unhumane, actually. Let me tell you why this crossing is important. It is because there are only two other crossings. One, Erez, a crossing with Israel in North Gaza. And second, Kerem Shalom, an only commercial junction between Israel and Gaza. Both of these have been shot after Hamas forces launched an attack. This leaves the Rafa border as the only point of entry and exit for civilians into and from Gaza. It is not clear at the moment as to why the crossing did not open. Israel has not commented on the move yet. Many say the closure could be because Israel is being cautious. It does not want any Hamas militants from being able to leave Gaza but we'll keep you updated if the crossing does really open. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.